Imagine building your home, moving in, and then finding out your garage is too small. Well, this happened to one woman, and a year later, no solution. She contacted two of your sides, Brittany Weiss, for help. This SUV is parked on an angle inside the garage because it's the only way it'll fit with the door shut. I couldn't believe it. Jackie Savoy was so excited to design her own custom home. She moved in last August, just before Hurricane Ida. When Ida happened, I was like, I want to put my vehicle in the garage. So I tried to fit it, and it, it didn't fit. She had no idea. The garage used as the staging area for all of her boxes. Once it was clear, she learned this. I couldn't close the garage door. She measured it's 16 feet, 7 inches deep. Not enough to fit her compact SUV. 18 is minimum, but really for a double car garage, it's 20 to 22. Unable to make out the dimensions on her hand drawn blueprints, she contacted her builder, Jacob Ficari. A solution was presented and an intention to make changes. This photo. Savoy sought a second opinion from an architect and was advised against it. Now, a year later, the garage still hasn't been addressed. No one actually ever to this day has come out to measure my garage, to look at my garage, nothing. Not One happy, she called me. Savoy says her builder bought four lots. Her house, the one next to her, and then two across the street. These houses have been going up, but she hasn't seen her builder in a year. No response to this, to this garage. As a new homeowner, Savoy is worried if it's not fixed, what happens? I can't resell the home. No one's going to want a double car garage that doesn't fit. As another month passes by, Zavoy is losing hope, worried she'll have to park on her custom driveway instead of in the custom garage forever. Two on your side in Baton Rouge, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2. Well, two on your side called the builder's office and was told that it would be fixed. No timeline, though, was given. The builder's voicemail box was full.